Снайпер! Контакт! Прикрой меня! Я должен перезарядиться! All right, folks. Now on the Russian server, there are new hidden vehicles in patch 1.23, Holiday Ops. It is the new Japanese gun cooling heavy tanks, but only the even tiers, tier 6, 8 and 10 are available before the common test for some reason, but the odd ones are out, tier 5, 7 and 9 are missing. So we're missing the Mitsu 108, the Type 4 Juto, and the Type 68, but guess we'll take a look at those later on. Now these vehicles will take a few priorities because they will come out to the other servers, whereas Russian server only vehicles like the Russian S tank at tier 10, yeah, that's maybe coming out, maybe not. Also, their assault artillery are probably not coming out, so we'll take a look at these vehicles later on, but assault artillery, like these two, <laughs> so they have funky stats, but we'll take a look later on. These vehicles will come out. Now, before we start, the stats might fluctuate, might be different than the other servers. For example, the Type 57 has a base accuracy of 0.43, whereas on the super test, it was 0.4 for the base accuracy. So stats might fluctuate, they might be different on the Russian server, take it with a grain of salt. Also, another good example is their Tiger Mouse has a turbo mode. <laughs> So this is their Tiger Mouse, go down here, it has a turbo mode of 18.75 horsepower per time ratio up to 36 kilometers per hour top speed. That's a turbo mode. <laughs> so take it with a grain of salt, their stats might be different. Alright, let's get started at tier 6 with the type 3 Junu. It's practically a Chinu, except bigger, with a German 88mm, practically. L56, but it has armor. Now, they don't give you the stats of the stock version, the 75mm. The stock turret has like what, 260mm of armor at the front? <laughs> so they don't give you the stats for stock stuff, stock turret or the stock 75. So we'll go in with a fully upgraded version of the vehicle. Five man crew. Alright, that's nice. Fits your Tiger 1 or Heavy Tank number 6. So firepower wise, eh, it's an 88, but DPM is not as high as the Tiger 1s with the L56 88mm. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the vehicle first before I start with the firepower. Uh, yeah, large ass <laughs> Chinu, except it's a Heavy Tank, so Junu. Uh, Commander Cupola is big, it is like a chimney on top of the turret, turret looks like a STI turret, boxy, rounded slightly, but the ass end looks like an OI's ass end without the mini turret. Right, it's a big boxy tank, so Japanese version of a Tiger 1 practically, I guess. There's a goddamn raccoon in the background. <laughs> Alright, so... 160 millimeters of pin, 260 alpha, seems about right, but DPM might be a little bit low compared to the Tiger 1s. And accuracy is okay, 0 0.35, 2.2 seconds of aim time. Now 12 degrees gun depression, that might be good. Turret traverse, more like a fat medium tank, good enough I guess, but I have the Tiger 1. Let's compare to this thing. So, yeah, this thing has slightly better accuracy, but that's because of vents and the uh, equipment. Alright, the same accuracy, presumably. L56. Oh my god, 0 0.38? That is pretty crap. It has better DPM, but... This thing has... Uh, the Juto has better alpha and better penetration. That's insane. Can I see the gun? I'm looking, I'm trying to look. I, I cannot see the gun. Damn it. Uh, Alright, full stats can only be slightly shown. Yeah. Slightly better accuracy, better penetration, better alpha. About the same aim time. Yeah, the same aim time. So, okay, I mean, interesting. 
just less DPM for more punchiness, I guess, of the gun compared to the Tiger 1 with the L56. Alright, let's take a look at the armor. 1,100 health, 80 at the hull front, 170 at the turret front. Stock turret on this thing is like 260 or something. I believe it was funny though. So let's take a look at the armor. Frontally, uh, 80 millimeter. Oh, it's big, it's boxy, like an M6 practically. A little bit less, yeah. Little, M6 is like 100 millimeter. So yeah, you'll get pinned at the hull. And it's a big hull too. The front of the mantlet is 170. The cheeks are 100. As I expected out of the super test, so... Yeah, you, you'll likely get pinned with a high caliber gun onto the cheeks, but don't shoot the mantlet. The mantlet is dick. Cupola, 60 only. Ugh. Top of the turret, 50 sloped, but yeah, armor is not that great. Side armor is 60, so not really side scraping. Not really. It's a big boxy tank. It's a big box. <laughs> it has the punching power of the Alpha for a 88mm, but... It has no armor though. <laughs> it's nowhere near the same armor as an OI. Not even close. No. Not even close. Uh, yeah. You, you. Is the health more than abundant than the tiger? About the same too. Oh. Okay. So. Yeah. The upside is the punchiness of the gun, but that's practically it. All right. Mobility wise, 13.33 horsepower per time ratio, 40 km per hour top speed. Fat medium tank, practically. Weighs about 50-ish tons, so that's good, but... Yeah, horsepower per ton seems a little bit lower than what I expected out of the super test. Super test was, was like, what, 16? 17? Okay. It's, it was like 15.5, I remember, so stats are a little bit different than the other servers, but yeah, at least we took a look at the armor, right? Camo, heavy tank, but okay enough, I guess. View range, not half bad, 370. Uh, this vehicle seems big. <laughs> the only upside is the punchiness of the gun, but that's practically it. I mean, armor is not that great. Not really, at least for the hull. The turret could bounce a few, but big cupola on top too. Um, yeah, it didn't seem that good. Alright, moving on to tier 8. The Russian looking Type 57. So, not a bad looking vehicle too. It is... Pike shape esque of a hull design with V shape side armor, so could bounce a few shots. Turret looks like a ST or STA, at least in the back, so large STA turret, but side armor really, really looks like Russian. Could bounce a few, I presume, but cupola is still kind of prominent, so it is hull down, mount, uh, hull down, practically, preferably, but. Might be the best armor out of the bunch. Might be. Well, module wise, 105mm, gun cooling and all the stuff. It's not hydropneumatic suspension? They removed that? Or at least the Russian server removed that. So, hydropneumatic suspension has a little square above the tracks. Guess it's different. Alright. They have the loader, they don't have radio operator as the fourth man crew so like with the type 63 there's no loader there's a radio operator in the spot so let's take a look at type 63 yeah radio operator not a loader so did they flip that around for their tech tree that would be interesting but it's a loader not a radio operator all right firepower wise 105 millimeter dpm is not half bad. I mean, with the rammer, that's about 2,200. Alright, gun cooling takes about 15 seconds, so... 5 seconds more, about, after you reload. 14 degrees of gun depression without a track or the hydropneumatic suspension thing, so that's surprising. Which is very good without the tracks, but I doubt it. I don't know. At least they don't mention it on the tracks. Huh. Alright. 2.2 seconds of aim time, base accuracy is 0.43. That base accuracy sucks, but you have to wait to cool to 0.31. Okay, I mean, 
if you don't need the accuracy, DPM's not half bad, right? Uh, seems okay of a gun. All right, let's take a look at the armor. So, 1,600 health, above average. Usually, it's about 1,500. 100 at the hull front, 50 at the hull sides, 200 at the turret front. Let's take a look. Large lower plate, only 90 millimeter. That's a weak spot. Upper plate, 100 millimeter. Uh, it could bounce a few, but don't rely on it. Cupola is big, 110. Turret front, rounded, 180. Where the hell is uh, 200? Behind the mantlet? Yeah, behind the mantlet. Gun elevation or depression port is 70, but well sloped into about 220 millimeters effective. Yeah, side armor on this thing is surprisingly good. 50, but it's sloped. Let's see how good of a side scraper. I mean, unless you shoot the V-shape. Yeah, shoot the V-shape, it's auto bounce. But shoot between the tracks, you'll likely pin. As well as the drive wheel. Yeah, it's all green. Yeah, you still haul down monster, right? 14 degrees gun depression, still haul down. That will, hi that will hide the cupola too. It'll be something like this. So that will hide the cupola, but... You can shoot underneath the gun. If you're hauled down, yeah, you can shoot also underneath or shot trap beneath the turret. It seems fine, I mean, based on the flavor text from all the Japanese heavy tanks of the gun cooling tech tree, yeah, they all have garbage hull armor, right? At least this one has at least a little bit de decent of an upper plate while hauled down. Eh, yeah, still a little bit decent upper plate while hauled down. Okay. All right. Yeah, side armor might be trollish, but don't rely on it. Definitely don't rely on it. There's a few auto bounce zones, but there are strips that practically negates the side armor too. Yeah, okay. Rear armor is garbage, obviously. Roof 30, engine deck 30. All right, not the best of armor, but might be the best in terms of upper plate. Might be. All right, mobility wise. 15 horsepower per ton ratio, 40-ish kilometers per hour top speed. So a little bit faster than the tier 6. Alright, 50-ish tons. Camo, about the same. View range, 390. Average, but not bad. Ah, uh, seems okay. Base accuracy is different than the super test, but it's a Russian server. Like I said, they don't have the little tr uh, angle thing or square thing for the hydropneumatic suspension. So take a look at Type 63 Preview On the modules, you see a little square right there a little square, that's hydropneumatic suspension The Type 57 doesn't have it, so Automatically gets 14 degrees gun depression, that's pretty good if it does I doubt it, I highly doubt it How the hell do you fit 14 degrees? Well you could technically, it's like, yeah, okay 14 degrees, alright on to tier 10 Type 71, large ass STB or Type 74 practically. Okay. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a pretty big boy. Yeah, freaking, yeah, STB on steroids practically. Oh, that's a big ass freaking vehicle. Holy crap. I mean, we got the large Leopard 1, right? So the Kampf Panzer 07 PE is large Leopard 1. This is a large STB. Now we just need a large patent. Just give us the Abrams, right? Like the M60 2000. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Forget patent with the Abrams turret, practically. Oh, it's a large ass STB, crew of four. They don't have the they don't have the radio operator weak spot or weakness, because you can actually train safe stowage and intuition with these vehicles, whereas the commander. Is the loader on the other servers? They have a radio operator in its place, but I wonder who's the radio operator in this position the loader or the commander? If it's the loader, then you could train situational awareness on the loader too, but they don't, they don't have that. They have a difference. Interesting. So take it with a grain of salt, like I said. It's a 120, 120 millimeter. DPM is actually not half bad. Base accuracy 0.4 as expected, but aim time is quick. With the gun cooling, it's about 4 
at maximum four ish seconds after you reload. Alright, I mean, 260 millimeters of pen, 400 alpha, seems about average, right? But DPM might be good. It's all about the armor. How good is this thing hauled down, right? How good is it hauled down? Health is actually not that bad, 2400, like with a Super Conqueror, practically. Uh, armor wise, upper plate, 240. It's 170 sloped. That's actually not half bad. If you consider the gun depression, as well as angling, but uh, lower plate, 90, well sloped, to about 270 millimeters effective. Wow! Armor is actually half decent. Yeah, it's actually half decent. Side armor is only 80. Ugh. Yeah, 80 with side skirts. 20 millimeter side skirts. Okay, you can bounce a few, but don't angle too much. Yeah, angle too much, you'll get pinned. 70 above the tracks. Okay, side armor is okay. I mean, it's like with the Super Conqueror. You could bounce a few if you don't angle too much, or if you bait a few shells, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah, upper plate armor and lower plate armor seems pretty decent. Yeah, it's a low slope, 90. But if you're shooting at a range, like, it negates the lower plate. Yeah, shooting at a range, it's about 200 millimeters effective. But upper plate gets a lot better. All right. Turret armor is 245, but it's sloped to 10, 290. That's a mantlet. It's 140 underneath. You do have a large tumor that is only 200 millimeters or 140 at some areas. So it's like with the E5. Yeah, it's really like with the E5. You have a very good turret front, but negated by the large tumor on top. I even pull up the E5 into my garage for comparison. <laughs> so E5, yeah, it's like with this, except on the different side, on the starboard side, not the port side. But yeah, yeah see the actual armor. Yeah, it's about the same, 200 or so, 210, effectively 220, 240 or so. So it's like with the E5. Upper plate seems good, lower plate seems about, okay, about the same. So yeah, it's like with the E5, surprisingly, but E5 has DPM. Yeah, this thing is a DPM machine, so it doesn't have the accuracy, well, it has the accuracy. <laughs> without the gun cooling, but, uh Interesting. I wanted to like this vehicle, they nerf it to the ground. They nerfed the cupola from like 250 to 200, 209. Well, at least this thing gets 15 degrees of gun depression, whereas the E5 has only 8. This thing has the hydropneumatic suspension. This thing has a little square thing. Holy crap, the tier 8 doesn't have it. It just basically has 14 degrees of gun depression. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Armor seems decent. It has more health than the E5. Yeah, 200 more health than the E5. About the same side armor, but with side skirts. Okay. Armor's, armor seems okay. It seems decent. Just wiggle the turret about, right? Wiggle the turret. Turret traverse is actually decent too. Hull traverse, good enough. Horsepower to ratio is 18.33, which is pretty good. 40 km per hour top speed, not half bad. 60... Wait, 60 tons? You can actually go ramming with this thing, but... Yeah, not bad with ramming. Camo, garbage. Eh, at least better than 2%. And 400 meters of U-range. Oh, there you go, folks. They have a different stats, I believe. Especially for some of the base accuracy or even the horsepower per ton ratio. It seems a little bit different. 18.3 seems pretty good, but... Yeah, I mean... I originally thought the cupola was going to be a lot stronger, but no, it's just still kind of weak. Yeah, still kind of weak. So, yeah, wiggle the turret about. Definitely wiggle the turret about. Same play style as with the E5. Wiggle the turret about. Throw off the shots, but E5 has a lot of DPM. This thing has better angles of the gun depression, right? This thing has better angles, but mm, different play style. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there you go, folks. We'll cover the other fancier vehicles or crazier vehicles like the the Russian S-Tank. 
coming soon as well as their assault artillery, their premium tier 8s. So it's a whole rigmarole of a circus fiesta. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.